Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, huh? sir. Yes, yeah. sir, we can. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Hello, hello. Hi. 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 Hmm. Others. Bye. Bye, ga. Come, come, come. come. Hmm. Now say namaste. Namaste, namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Yaro. मैम आपका माइक म्यूट है तो क्या हम कंटिन्यू करें इट इज सिक्सटीन पेज सीवी and i am reading it in short so after yeah. completing his primary education at remote villages uh, he obtained his bachelor's degree in science at prestigious tunga college tirtha hali he entered into service after obtaining ba degree from national college of education shimoga at renowned sanskrit village mathur uh, mathur as a high school teacher but i mean i rishi and then served at paper town high school uh, bhadravati and re rendered 15 uh, sorry 18 years service there to mera pronunciation naam ka thoda sa galat ho sakta hai sorry sir now further completing ma post graduation in kannada at university of mysore he has got phd degree from kuvempu university under the able guide a guidance of professor t n shankar uh, shankarana charyana he has participated in field works uh, conducted by professor peter j claus professor hedron uh, pakner dr carnelia melbrain etc and participated in workshops conducted by prof professor lori honko ellen jabor and mary afford he has conducted several national and international seminars and workshops after entering into dravidian university dr m n venkatesha served as head of the department of folklore and tribal studies in addition he served as student welfare officer nss officer warden and also was teaching at msw course before he moved to karnataka folklore university as a registrar of evolution he has got his post graduate degree in sociology too he served as board of studies he served as board of studies chairman member at various universities say dravidian university kannada university janpada university etc and also as member of board of examiners at university of calicut university of mysore kset center etc he has presented more than 200 research papers at national seminars on folklore and interacted with many indian and foreign scholars who are conducting research in the field of folklore he has published more than 100 research articles in various national and international journals his book my uh, maila renga jatra is published by national folklore support center chennai he has authored 10 books edited 20 books and translated two books the book titled the epic of junjappa sung by pujari shivanna is a prestigious work done with his professor t n shankara charana which he, uh, which has got published by karnataka Fol folklore university in both kannada and english languages dr m n venkatesh is known for his vast field work and an expert in performance studies his area of specialization in oral epics and socio cultural issues his translated works of rogue mosquito of vienna university austria titled madhava's unknown sources of canonical works some observations fetched him prestigious vijendra award conferred by Mat uh, mantrale raghavendra swami mata he has conducted uh, a workshop on decoding veda vidya in collaboration with udupi uh, puttigi mata 
he his diversified research skills are seen in conducting a national seminar on folklore as reflected in manuscripts in collaboration with national mission of manuscripts new delhi being founder president of indian folklore researchers organization ifro and vice president of folklore society of south indian languages fossils now he is promoting folklore research studies at south india mai to kahungi it is not only south india it is national nation wide to such a eminent person who has such knowledge of research in folklore studies and folklore uh, culture so he is between us so so um uh in officially sir ko bahut samay se jante hain aur सर के साथ में हमको बहुत ज्यादा काम करने का मौका तो नहीं मिला है लेकिन जो भी समय हमें मिला हमने उनसे सीखा और जो एक आपने एक आई देखी एक डिफरेंस देखा होगा कि हमारा जो वर्किंग कल्चर है वो उसमें थोड़ा सा फर्क है वो सर का ही दिया हुआ है तो मुझे लगता है कि वो आपको भी कुछ अच्छा बहुत अच्छा बताने वाले है यहाँ पर और आप उसमें से कितना सीख पाते हैं देखिए टीचर तो अपना सब कुछ देना चाहता है अब ये हमारे स्टूडेंट्स पर है कि वो कितना लेते हैं हाउ मच दे गेन वो आपके ऊपर है तो अपने अपने ब्रेन के बॉक्सेस खोल करके बैठिए सर जो कुछ भी दे रहे हैं उसको मैक्सिमम अंदर करने की कोशिश करिए क्योंकि जो कुछ भी हमने सीखा जो कुछ भी हमने आपको बताया था डॉक्यूमेंटेशन के बारे में फील्ड स्टडीज के बारे में परफॉर्मेंस के बारे में और भी किसी भी चीज के बारे में कि कैसे हम रिसर्च करते हैं फैक्ट्स कलेक्ट करते हैं और उसके बाद डॉक्यूमेंटेशन करते हैं ये चीज हमने आपको बताई थी सर उसका प्रैक्टिकल एस्पेक्ट आपको बताने वाले हैं सर आपको बताने वाले हैं कि फील्ड में जाकर के काम करना कैसे सो लेट्स कंटिन्यू सर प्लीज हेलो सर यस कैन आई स्टार्ट यस सर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम वेरी मच थैंकफुल टू यू डॉक्टर शुभम शिवम इट्स ऑलवेज ग्रेट टू वर्क विथ यू आई एम ऑलवेज फीलिंग हैप्पी टू सी द प्रोग्रेस Uh, of course our areas of specialization may be little bit different you are working on uh, paintings i am working on folklore but there is an area of folk paintings where we can meet and uh, certainly with my idea of uh, field work my experiences in the field i would like to share my views uh in brief uh, uh, i think there are six seven participants are there uh, all these seven people whether they belong to paintings only or is there any mixed group yes uh, please scholars you may introduce to sir you may you introduce yourself to sir shiva devendra shalvi sunil sir shashi please नमस्ते सर नमस्ते सर मेरा नाम सुनील है और मैं यहाँ पे डी एव डिग्री कॉलेज एक है कानपुर में ही वहाँ पे असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर के पद पे कार्यरत हूँ और मेरा जो विषय है वो ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग ही है Please unmute. Uh, number. Please unmute. Devendra Palji. Hello okay. sir. Ha. Huh. Uh, sir, Master, I am Devendra Pal Singh. Sir, sir, I am a master of drawing and painting. I am from Kolkata. Sir, I am from Madras. 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 गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज में एज आर्ट टीचर ओके गवर्नमेंट स्कूल में आर्ट टीचर अच्छा जी सो प्लीज 
प्रणाम सर मैं शशि कुमार मैं मेरा मास्टर्स प्रिंट मेकिंग से हुआ है कुरुक्षेत्रा यूनिवर्सिटी हरियाणा से और मेरा तीन से चार साल एक्सपीरियंस रहा है प्रिंट मेकिंग में मुंबई में प्रिंट स्टूडियो हेड के रूप में कोना फाउंडेशन में इसके अतिरिक्त मैं अभी हरियाणा में प्राइवेट कॉलेज में टीचर हूँ असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर हूँ प्रिंट मेकिंग का ओके थैंक यू साथ में हम वेलकम करते हैं सर के स्टूडेंट लक्ष्मी नारायण सर का ही इज हिज पी एच डी स्कॉलर एंड ही इज विद अस टू लिसन द डेलीब्रेशन वन मोर थिंग आई वांट टू टेल यू दैट द डेलीब्रेशन बाय सर विल बी इन इंग्लिश और इन मिक्स्ड लैंग्वेज हिंदी बिकॉज उनकी मदर टंग इज कन्नड़ तो वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू इंसिस्ट की वो कंटिन्यूसली हिंदी ही बोले सो यू हैव टू ग्रैप अगर कोई कम्युनिकेशन uh, गैप है तो आप पेन पेंसिल लेकर के बैठिए और आप बाद में उसको क्लैरिफाई कर सकते हैं ठीक है यहाँ पर हमारा एम ज्यादा से ज्यादा नॉलेज गेन करना है लैंग्वेज फोकस नहीं होना चाहिए ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू मैडम थैंक यू वेरी मच सर शिवा इज हियर शी ऑल्सो वॉन्ट्स टू इंट्रोड्यूस दिस हाँ सर मेरा नाम शिवा है और आ, मैंने अपना पीजी यही डीजी कॉलेज से किया है मैं जी आर एफ दो तीन साल प्राइवेट डिग्री कॉलेज में पढ़ाने का अनुभव भी रहा है और इसके अलावा मैं कविताएं भी लिखती हूँ गुड इवनिंग सर सर मेरा नाम शालवी श्रीवास्तव है यस सर मैंने बैचलर ऑफ फाइन आर्ट्स किया है लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी से और मेरा मास्टर ऑफ फाइन आर्ट्स भी लखनऊ यूनिवर्सिटी से ही रहा है और 2020 में मैंने जे आर एफ क्वालिफाई किया है ओके ओके लेट मी स्टार्ट यस सर सर एक्साइटेड फॉर नो सम न्यू थिंग्स मोस्ट वेलकम i keep creating some problem okay uh, now i believe you are listening yes we all can hear you sir yes yes okay actually um, i have gone through your uh, syllabus uh, out of that uh, three topics are uh, i thought that i can concentrate on these three topics one is researching and documentation importance of documentation of art works practices another one is data collection and data analysis the third one is understanding folk and popular culture and art practices uh in fact you are all working on paintings and i am speaking on folk culture so uh i would like to give a brief uh, introduction to the meaning of what is folk culture actually you know uh, the people who are living in different places they are having their local lifestyle their belief system is developed because of the community's interaction with the environment they may think something as good for them which is there to protect and they may call it as god something which actually creates a fear to them they may consider it appeasing of such items is very essential therefore there will be different types of ritual practices there will be different type of uh, uh, stories may be fabricated around the cultural heroes with whom they are having some sort of affinity each community will develop some sort of affinity with different type of people in the beginning itself uh, as far as pan indian structure is concerned uh, we can consider two important epics mahabharat and ramayan where actually the uh, roles or characters are well known to everyone see why such characters are created why such characters are considered as uh, a part of our culture and how our daily life is actually embedded with so many different types of belief systems and practices because whatever we are actually practicing even our dress code even our 
way of speaking even the method of giving respect to the elders or how we are going to speak to the youngsters see all these things actually it is not restricted to one particular area in different areas the styles will be different but the intention is always the same giving respect to the elders and taking care of the youngsters that's actually the general idea of humanity so in such cases when you are actually working on paintings you will have two challenges normally what you are going to paint see when you start thinking about doing some painting a rough picture will develop in your mind similarly when a folk singer wants to sing a song or wants to tell a tale a rough idea of skeleton of that story will come into his mind and then he will think of some sort of means whether in singing form whether in the story form prose form how he wants to tell that that form actually starts coming into his mind similarly when you are actually doing painting the story line will be in your mind the concepts will develop in your mind some message will create in your mind which you would like to communicate to the other people so uh, now i would like to share my screen if i am permitted madam shall i screen my share my screen just a minute hello madam i would like to share my screen so i am making you host and then you can share so now you can share your screen yes please can you see the screen i believe you will see the screen now ah uh, sir it's processing uh, so we can see i think it's... yeah 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 no okay all right we can see. so as i told you in the beginning i found these three topics are actually convenient for me to discuss with you researching and documentation data collection and analysis understanding folk and popular culture see in the very beginning i'll draw your attention about the very particular topic of what is research actually many things are already there you are not going to search anything you are going to research it the item which is already there that you would like to bring it to highlight so for that purpose you will think about your area of interest first then you will think of selecting some topic for your research i am not going to give you the list of topics now because i can give the list from folklore field but you would like to take the topic from painting side so automatically the general item will come into your picture painting means there are so many different types of paintings say orly painting or floral drawings or different type of things okay the classification will be there and you will uh, think of some modern paint or painting kalankari something something like that so out of that you have to select a particular topic on which you would like to highlight when you go for it immediately will think of going for review of literature how many different type of informations are already available in the field that you would like to see then you will create one hypothesis hypothesis means it is something like if it is water how many component of hydrogen is there how many component of oxygen is there like that two is to one component whether it is true or false that you would like to see 
like that in the beginning itself you are going to do something that local folk culture is going to influence on your modern painting whether it is true or false so like that you you, you will create some theoretical perspective first then you are going to test it in your research then there will be geographical distribution from which area this particular style of uh, uh, painting is actually established etc so if you want to give a brief history of all those things that also will be there then for your understanding you have to suggest, select some sort of theoretical perspective data collection is also very important and where i am going to concentrate on this particular item how we are going to collect the data what is field work there are three components actually pre field work we have to do something during field work we have to something uh, post field work we have to do something so those items i am going to discuss then data classification is very important then we are going to analyze the data then deriving inference from that data going to report all these things how our dissertation or phd thesis will be written so research design will be there Hello. Documentation is very essential because you are doing the research by visiting a particular place or having interview with a particular uh, scholar or artist. One time you may meet him. one time you may discuss with him but after some time when you are sitting for analysis you may have to revisit the same person for different understanding see physically sometimes it may not be possible but if you are documenting it in the proper way then you can do it you can go through videos you can go through audios or you can go through your photographs and you can recollect your memory and you can do lot of analysis through that particularly when we are understanding what is folk culture we have to understand how to understand folk culture in a better way sir sorry sir uh, we cannot see your screen please share it again okay any problem there uh, actually sir uh, i think it was some wifi problem so it has just stopped I see. just a minute now is it okay can you see now hello yes sir we can see now yes ah okay there actually uh what is important is how we are understanding folk culture that point is very important uh, i i will try to explain this from the point of paintings itself because it directly relates to your areas but before that i would like to give you one brief definition of what is folklore folk means any group of people consisting at least two to three people minimum maximum anything they are having one common characteristic that's very important actually in the earlier stage folk means rustic people village people uh, those people who are actually hard working those who are illiterate uh, those who lives in the village those people are folk that idea was there in the 19th century earlier but later alan dendes made it very clear he gave a new definition stating that folk means its group of people 
having at least one common characteristics all teachers can become one folk group all painters can become one folk group all artists can become one folk group so like that so folk means group of people whereas lore means their knowledge i would like to bring to your attention that here one picture i am actually showing you can you see this picture hello somebody can react yes sir one yes, painting sir. i have shown at the corner yes sir yes sir can you can you explain see uh, i told you in the beginning itself at the pan indian level we are having a mahabharata story yeah. and the symbolic painting huh? the symbolic symbolic painting sir yes 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 it, it is a symbolic painting uh, uh, will you be able to identify to which epic this picture is belonging to and which character is actually maybe highlighted with this particular picture because there is a wheel falling down some war is going on or war is already almost at the end of its position so can uh, you explain sir, i think it's about the death of karna death of karna sir death of karna that means yeah. yes sir yes sir मुझे आवाज नहीं आ रही है हेलो हेलो यस महाभारत आवाज नहीं आ रही है है ना एक मिनट में सर को मैसेज कर रही हूँ so hani kya meeting me he has left yeah ma'am ah uh, mujhe lag raha connectivity nahi hogi main connect main baat kar rahi hu kuch dikkat hai mujhe not not was problem ha network ka issue hai yes got it mm hmm mm hmm so one second screen sharing and my guy remain with us just wait yes sir yesterday you gave me the mail link yes sir now you can uh, share your screen okay. i have okay 
okay post and now we can start again sorry actually we don't have any matlab uh, technology par kisi ka bas nahi hai na ha hi thank you okay yeah, yeah. uh, i am coming back to this picture yeah. again uh, somebody is uh, actually reacting to this uh, picture and uh, they are uh, trying to observe that this picture is belong to mahabharata and the story is related to karna mm -hmm. okay but uh, see here i would like to explain you uh, about our understanding of folk culture see in our mind some structure is already fixed for example when we are thinking of good deeds we will think about swarga when we are thinking about bad deeds we will think about naraka and when we said where is swarga immediately our finger will show up but normally nowadays in the upside there will be next stair and there will be some other people residing or having a house for rent and people will be there it cannot be swarga for them see like that some ideology will be fixed in the folk community as i have shown a war piece picture and a broken wheel immediately your mind is actually directed towards mahabharata can you closely observe this picture one one more moment because in research observation is one of the very important point to consider hello hello sir uh, yes sir ah. aur ise aur uh, please observe uh, god se dekh ji ji aur dhyan se dekhne pe usme ek aur aisa uh, matlab wo mahabharat se hi takrata hai jaake aur wahan pe ek aur incident hota hai jahan pe krishna rath ka pahiya leke daudte hain to wo wala bhi yaad aa raha hai acha ji so ab aap ek kaam karo ji mahabharat se bahar aaye <laughs> बाहर आने की कोई और एपिक का बारे में सोच करो अब देर आर टू हैंड्स इन कनाडा हैंड मीन्स कई टू हैंड्स मीन्स कई 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 मीन्स ओके 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 व्हाट इज दट ओके रामायण में भी एक है कि दशरथ के रथ के पहिए की कील निकल जाती है तो कई कई अपनी उंगली से लगा के उसको रोक लेती हैं और फिर उनसे दशरथ से कई कई से शादी करते हैं उसके पश्चात अच्छा जी तो समथिंग टू से द होल ऑफ रामायण इज एक्चुअली कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड इन दिस पिक्चर एंड दिस पिक्चर इज रिलेटेड टू रामायण नॉट टू महाभारत when dasharatha wanted to fight for the purpose of devendra it was the time when he just got married to kaikai and she being a young lady wanted to accompany him oh, to see yeah. the yeah. war field and kaikai went with him but during that war dasharatha fought very well for the benefit of devendra devendra and his team but at that time Uh, that lock was actually fallen down of that wheel so immediately she placed her left uh, finger in that particular hole and protected him by not falling from the chariot and he won the battle for the purpose of gods god then he asked what boon you want she said i will reserve two boons for me at the later date and that is the beginning of ramayana story uh, later what happens one hand uh, is showing some three people are actually moving to the forest can you imagine at the can you see at the top there is blurred image yes, of three people hmm. can you observe yes, it yes uh, sir uh, who, who are they ram lakshman and sita ram lakshman and sita and there is a chair this chair actually tells all the story and yes, and there are padukas charan padukas yes. 
okay mm. so bharat, bharat should be seated on the throne throne, uh, uh, throne. and then rama should go to the forest the whole ramayana story begins there see one particular picture of how many uh, what is it, what might be its size some 3 feet by 5 feet so this actually tells the whole ideology of that particular epic if one is able to understand this particular picture he can tell the story of ramayana can you understand so yes so just by looking at one particular portrait or one particular painting so many things can be imagined or it is not imagination actually it is the understanding of the community and this picture actually provokes them to bring back all the memories into their mind and the whole story is there for them to tell there are many communities particularly in andhra pradesh there is one community ramkotis they actually sing the stories of ramayana by using many such uh, painting such they are having a crawling a cloth actually when they descroll that particular cloth different pictures will come hanuman picture will come at that time uh, hanuman's details will they are going to narrate or uh, wali sugriva's picture will come at that time they will narrate the story of wali sugriva so like that see here i would like to highlight two particular points being artists if you want to if you want to depict something in your picture you should have the understanding of your culture cultural background the belief system the codings particularly because here that chair it's a ordinary chair of course but when slip padukas are placed upon that it becomes that particular ayodhya chair where actually the padukas are belong to ram nothing is written in text here in this picture so everything is available in front of us symbolically and that symbol is going to be decoded and this decoding is possible in a small community that's why don ben amos uh, statement related to is very important folklore means it is the communication between or communication among the members of a very small community which is called folk that is folklore that's the definition given by don ben amos actually in every community this type of understanding will be there the community they are having their own ramayana story they are having their own mahabharata story they are having their own cultural heroes stories for example in andhra pradesh ahobala is there where actually narasimha is there narasimha is considered as the son in law of the chenchus for a tribe in that particular region why they do consider him as son in law it's because there is a particular epic which actually speaks narasimha got married to lakshmi but this lakshmi is chenchu lakshmi chenchu is a tribe living in this particular region so a big epic is established around them. without understanding the epic without understanding the belief system of those people if you want to depict a picture of narasimha and all this culture so it becomes very difficult therefore see for the person who wants to create a painting he should understand the culture his brain should bring some particular item from some particular culture and at the same time to whom you are going to present this particular item those target group also should be in your mind you are going to collaborate both and then you will produce a particular beautiful art piece so this is actually happening in research also so if you want to do some research on some particular particular community or 
on some particular painting forum or whatever the topic you would like to take as such then it is important to understand folk culture see if you want to work on epics of a nation then the first question comes which nation because if it is india or nepal or bali or indonesia or malaysia okay you can go for ramayana or to some extent to mahabharata also oh. the same thing if you shift to greece then oh. you have to think of greek mythics if you go to finland you have to think of kalevala because it is their national epic so there you have to take some characters then you have to use all these things if you are working on folk at the same time see what we did is here already one artist was in front of us something is actually suggested by the artist some story is told in the paint forum and the painting is actually placed in front of you and you are asked to explain what it is your art research is quite similar to this if you are not a good observer if you are not able to grasp the proper information from the field if you are not able to identify the micro aspects which are actually depicted in these particular items then whole of your research may be derooted and it may be taken from the actual fact to a different fact which actually your mind suggests to you for example the story of ramayana is made to believe you in this particular picture as story of karna which is related to mahabharata is entirely a different story so research is also like that you are having two roles one is you are an insider being an insider you have to understand the folk culture point one second one is you are an outsider you are an alien you don't know anything about it but you want to try to understand that particular item in that aspect you have to write the details of that then you will go for minute and meticulous details otherwise when you are collecting the data what you are going to do is you will think many times that this is known to everybody maybe but when you said it in the proper way in a prescribed manner in a brisk way then the things becomes easy to understand now i will discuss more about data how to take the data where to data take the data see data is a plural word data is a singular of course we can take the simple word information see when you are doing research you have to collect the information from the common people so what type of research you are doing if you want to do on early painting so okay in which geographical area this is available point one which community is doing this second one third one what are the items they use to do this fourth one what type of things they want to depict through this fifth one what ritualistic importance it is having sixth one in which context they are actually doing these things seventh one what type of marketing we are getting for this then any experimentation is being done how modernization globalization and other industrialization and other things that influenced over this particular item then what is the contemporary position of this particular art form see how many questions actually comes through we have to discuss about all these things in our research so if you want to collect the data about the community you have to go there you have to see the people you have to observe them see secondary information you can get always through different type of books it's quite possible because so many research work is being done on every minute points if you able to find something which is new nobody has touched for this particular type so it's fine you will be the first person then you can give you a descriptive note and you can say you found something new like columbus 
finding america for the first time though it was there for centuries he can claim that he is the first person to discover it or some inventions like electric bulb by thomas uh, so all such things you can think of but in your art research art history you are actually trying deriving you would like to document the history art history or you may explain the method of production of a particular form how color mixing is possible etc etc my student lakshmi narayan is doing a thesis actually in which he would like to explain how natural colors are prepared made use and how it's actually used in painting of different forms so like that you can think of but where who is your informant how you have to approach them here actually not only the researcher for paintings the researcher of any social science group can have some sort of clues he should have good communication skill to interact with the community people language may not be many times a big problem you can have a person who knows that language and your language and you can get it translated but it is not important that your language should be made known to them what is important is your intention should be made known to them properly when your intention is made known to them properly certainly they will cooperate and they will give the information and information will be in different forms see here when ritual is going on you can see some torches are there in the hands of the people they are actually moving in the dark it's actually in mailara tradition of karnataka they are actually they are symbolizing dramatization of a myth ritual reenactment is going on there what is that ritual reenactment actually in the epic of mailara linga there is a situation where actually the deity mailara linga attacks the demon in a night with his seven crores of soldiers in the dark night and he snatches the ownership of that particular throne from him so that story is there the story enactment is going on every year so here if you ask them to speak about it they will say we are the devotees of the deity then why you are having the torch etc etc no i am the soldier i am going for the war i am actually fighting for our deity i am going to kill the demon today like that these people will tell where is the demon whether that demon is going to kill this year no the story it was held long back but still recreation of that story will be there every year in that particular fair so in such cases you should become an insider first you should feel what they are feeling you should get the cultural background informations from them and then you have to explain as an alien in your dissertation see here is another one where actually i am sitting and trying to read something but this paper is not just a4 size or a5 size it is much lengthier because there is a particular dependent caste by name helavas in karnataka pichakuntla in andhra pradesh similarly in rajasthan also some bats are there some some communities are there actually they are the dependent castes they are keeping the records of lineage of different families who is their father who is their forefather who is their forefathers etc etc the generation story is written actually here some yadava gollas details are there actually and this story begins from sri krishna whom they consider their cultural hero and then from him his son his son his son his son and then the present generation up to that and there also if one family is there those details are actually written if some new baby is born in that they are going to add to this particular list 
if somebody is died that will be mentioned here and that lineage story will be maintained and they are not ready to give it to you if you ask them they will sing they are ready to sing the songs related to this so this actually forms a sort of data see ritual is actually a sort of data the narration of folk epics is a sort of data the way of living the folk life that itself is actually a source for data so many things are there in different walks of life you have to identify where actually you can collect the data see again i want to take some information from painting part here it's a ritual you would like to go there you want to see this particular picture i think you are observing this serpent head which is under drawing actually the person is drawing it can you observe this hello yes sir yes okay. sir yes sir okay 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 uh, if i give only this much of information only one photo if i give and if i am not giving any other detail mm -hmm. and since mm -hmm. you people are from uttar pradesh or north india this and not sir information is from south india then whether you would like to explain what it is it becomes very difficult because first question comes why this is being drawn second question what is going to draw because there is no clarity whether he is going to draw serpent or something else where he is drawing this whether it is in a temple or on road or on some particular situation why this is being drawn again which type of community people they are doing this so what informations are there at the background when this performance is going to be done who is actually performing this how they are going to perform this so so many questions actually will come into so here actually your field work begins if it is painting or if it is about folk culture or if it is folklore whatever it is first thing is when you observe something so many questions will come into your picture trying to find the answer for all these things that itself becomes research so for that purpose you have to conduct the field work field work means there will be different types of field works again you are going to the field you are observing it you are conducting interviews with different people you are making audio video documentation you will take so much of notes you will collect some pieces of materials material culture is drawing what type of painting he is using whether it is natural color whether it is naturally available whether it is artificially made whether it is available in the shop or whether this particular community only knows the formula how to prepare this so many questions will come into our picture so there actually our field work begins then you are going to do some sort of documentation research always will be benefited if it is supported by good documentation researching and documentation they are important uh, aspects actually producing documentary film is different documenting the information for the purpose of research is also different see after researching after documenting many things with the help of that you can prepare a well known very good documentary film but when you are in the field you have to take everything see voice mixing should not be done at that stage you should keep everything available in the video tape or in the digital forum you have to give equal importance even to the small things for example if some 
uh, fair is going to be held. We think that this fair commences on particular Ratasaptami day, for example, to say. Okay, on that particular day, some Nandi will be there. Some flag hoisting activity will be taken place. Then a series of activity for four or five days will be there. And finally, a chariot will be taken into procession. Okay, et cetera, et cetera. These things will happen in one particular fair. Don't think that is the only physical place where that fair is being held. Some 20 kilometers away or 30 kilometers away, if the, some village is there, if that village person, that particular family, if it is the devotee of this, this particular deity, if they want to come to that particular place, they will do a lot of rituals in their house before commencing their journey, either by Padhyatra or by their uh, bullock cart or by any other means. They are doing some initial work. See, like in a marriage, how the rituals are being done in bridegroom's house. Similarly, some rituals will be done in bride's house before coming to the Kalyanamandapa. So, like that. Uh, the actual process is having a lot of other things to see. So, if you want to get the information about folk culture, then you have to split your fieldwork activity into three parts. One is pre-field work, another one is actual field work, then post field work. When you want to do some pre-field work, that you have to make a list of many things. You are going to a village. If you want to stay there for three days, what is your stay arrangement? How you are going to make arrangements for your food? How you travel all these places? How much of travel you have to make in that particular village? How many places you have to cover in your video documentation? Whether enough battery is available with you, whether digital space is available. All these things you have to take care in the beginning itself. Enough pen is there with you, enough paper is there, spiral pad, etc. etc. All these small petty things that actually falls under briefing. At the same time, one pilot survey is also very essential for this. Because on the day of Jatra fair. Among lakhs of people, you cannot go and identify every minute point to study. So in such cases, you have to have a look at the available reading materials and you have to make your mind to understand some of the things. Then you have to identify some informants who can guide you to that particular place. If you want to do some research on some particular community, because Savara community is there, where actually Savara no, no. floral drawings are very specific, or in Karnataka, Ediga community is there, Ediga's Hache and Hase, no, that is no. uh, no. wall paintings particularly. That's very important. Or some rock paintings are available, some tribal uh, communities, rock, pay, rock paintings belong to uh, so much of old uh, type. See. If you want to do such research, then you need somebody who actually gives you some sort of introduction to that particular place. You have to go there, you have to see them. So you may contact your primary school teachers or high school teachers there who can understand what is research at least better than other people who are living in this particular area. But they cannot help you in a bigger way. So at least they can take you to the concerned community people who can explain the cultural background information relating to these particular items. See, what I suggest is, if you want to conduct the documentary work of our field work in a place where actually a fair is going to be held in the next month, mm. it is better you go one month early to that place once. And you try to, try to, document like this right. where there are no people see you can take the photograph of 
all the items or video of all these items on the fair day if you go to that particular place you cannot walk like this because the all these places will be filled with people so lakhs of people will join there or thousands of people will join there so so in the beginning itself you can take up a photograph of these things or you can have some sort of idea by walking in this particular area so this type of preparatory work is very essential otherwise it's it's very difficult to do the field work if you go to that particular place on that particular day only and then comes the post field work activity the post field work activity is very important because during the field work you will make lot of notes you will collect lot of digital information you will observe so many things see your observation sometimes may be alien sometimes may be as an insider see what type of ideology will be there in your mind you feel that something is understood by you but your understanding may be correct may not be sometimes and being an outsider you may understand something but as an insider the performer may be having some other idea so such things also will be there to see. then i am coming to the next slide when rituals are being conducted similar type of place it will be crowded and finding the details becomes very difficult see people are actually coming to the particular uh, center this is not the raw documentation actually it is edited that's why a beautiful song is also added No. See, when you are documenting, you should be very careful, and every minute point you should. be made it clear actually i am to teach you tomorrow also i may have to engage one more period so there i am going to take up data analysis when i am taking uh, discussing about data analysis uh, i will show many other important things here see uh if you go to the field on the day of performance only you will be confused with so many ritual practices happening there and you cannot be able to understand exactly what is happening in which particular place because so many activities will be happening in that particular place 
and all these things will get you confused so for that purpose pre field work is very essential making notes at the spot is very important taking the note of every small event is very important and while documenting you should be careful how to place your video where to place etc etc see how this is actually done So tomorrow, I am going to show some more items with the same video, where actually appeasement of demon deities is being done by shedding the blood in different ways. If possible, I try to show it now itself. See why they are doing like that, how they are doing it, etc. Those things I will discuss in tomorrow's uh, class. See, while doing documentation, how we have to place our video camera, how we have to document these things, etc. It's also very important. See, today I am speaking about how to document these things, how to do the field work. When discussing data analysis, I, I will interact with you in a different perspective actually. See, how much of blood is coming out, etc. Those things also to be documented in a different way. Okay, uh, I will speak much more about the pre-field work activity. So, you know it's a shadow play where actually light and darkness it is mixed and uh, Ramayana story is being told nowadays some new experiments are being made Gandhi's episode, Ambedkar's episode Freedom Fighters episodes all those things are also being told with the help of these puppets and uh, there are different types of puppets actually. String puppets are there, uh, leather puppets are there, etc. And this is the arrangement actually made for the purpose of leather puppets. If you are really doing the research, you have to collect the information about the community, which community is actually doing this, which community people are going to observe this particular performance, and which community people are 
patronizing this particular orchestra. And then you can give what is the impact of uh, globalization, modernization, and other things, and how globalization is possible with the help of these particular things. The local knowledge, how it is actually transmitted to the modern stage, that also we have to see. Similarly, there is another photo is there, where actually the drawing started in the earlier photo that's completed now. This is Sarpankali preparations. It's being done in Kerala and also in coastal Karnataka region. Nagamandala in Karnataka, Sarpankali in Kerala. Here actually a big serpent head picture is drawn actually. This is the union of two serpents. And Naga is considered as one of the spirit actually, which is having high power to give good boons to the community. And appeasing this Naga spirit is very important. And two performers will dance on this particular mandala, which picture you are seeing here. See, what I would like to draw, uh, I would like to draw your attention for one different dimension. You are all artists. You are actually working with paints. Your feeling is you are preparing some art piece with some particular canvas board and you are going to hang it on the wall. But what I am telling is that's one particular type of art production. But here is a different type of art production for a different purpose. This beautiful drawing is drawn to conduct a performance for the whole of the night. The performance actually begins by six o'clock evening and first two to three hours will be taken for the purpose of drawing this particular picture, floral drawing, Rangoli, Muggulo. And then two performers will start performing by nine o'clock and the performance actually runs throughout the night and by early morning six o'clock or seven they will bless the community people and the performance will be over yes. actually it's a big event it invites thousands of people actually to witness and there will be some prominent uh, patrons some particular community people only can do all these things and lot of lot of cultural informations are actually is there. So if you are a art researcher or if you want to do research on paintings, so you can have a look at these things also. And here your research actually will not be focused only upon the diagram, the materials used for preparing this diagram but it also concentrates on the belief system, the expectations of the community, the community's structure, the community's background, community's ideology, community's worldview, customs, practices, and do's and don'ts, everything actually comes under this. And your research needs a lot of information from the field. So for that purpose, a dedicated field work is very, very essential. So collect the information as an insider. This is this is very important point I would like to say. What is this picture? So this is actually from Leather Puppet Show. Report the information as an alien. So this is actually uh, the first part of my observations relating to what is uh, fieldwork documentation. Uh, I will sum up some of the th things. See, your research is a dedicated work. One thing. Your research should not be biased. That's another thing. Your research should be able to find the facts. You should things 
and we leave it should it should be it should be informed by the right people identifying the right people is again a big task Okay. Why this is actually created? How much of influence from other particular items are there on this? Because nothing can be created afresh. Actually, our forefathers they had some sort of knowledge. Only with the help of their knowledge, we actually took the knowledge level to the next stage. Thing like a grandfather is there. is old maybe 6 feet height he is standing on a mound and he can see some distance his grandson who is only 6 years or 5 years old he can sit on the shoulder of his grandfather then he will become at least two more feet height from the father for his grandfather and he can see something more than his father he can see some long distance items also so he cannot say that i found something new with my own effort like that any painting forum any art forum is having a history it's having a background the background is because of the community which actually patronizing that from where that particular ideology has come to that particular item what are its roots etc etc all those things you have to study see there are three parts actually one is how this is being prepared or how this is brought this is actually brought to this particular stage second one is what is this how we are actually looking at it what is there in front of us third one is the target group for whom we are actually preparing these things what impact will be there on their mind see if you take a japanese art form to completely alien society and if you present it in what way they are going to understand that particular item see these things also you have to think see appreciating a particular art forum you very well know for that purpose also there should be some sort of preparation and understanding in the mind of the viewer if the viewer is actually educated in that particular perspective then he will appreciate the items a critic a critic should be trained first to criticize on the art forum you artist will prepare something and a critic will criticize about it see criticizing simply what he emotionally feels is different and criticizing it with a knowledge of how it is being prepared why it is being prepared for whom it is being prepared so if one is able to understand these three items and if he criticizes the positives and negatives of that that criticism is having some sort of extra value and a phd student is expected to be such a criticizer then only his writing his dissertation will have more values so this is actually my initial information relating to this today's uh, class tomorrow i am going to discuss many of the things in detail and if you are having any questions now we can have some sort of discussion also yes hello 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 sir yes sir yes sir sunai yes, de raha hai hello everyone can you have yeah. 
यस मैम यस मैम एनीवन कोई भी क्वेश्चंस अगर आपके हैं कोई भी दिक्कत है आपको समझने में तो आप वो क्वेश्चंस प्लीज सर से डिस्कस कर सकते हैं मुझे लगता है कि सर ने बहुत अच्छे से सब कुछ एक्सप्लेन किया है और फील्ड वर्क क्या होता है आर्ट वर्क में हमारा जो पेंटिंग और पॉपुलर कल्चर की स्टडीज है इसमें फील्ड वर्क एक्चुअली क्या होता है ये मैंने वहां जाकर उनके साथ काम करके ही सीखा है अगर कोई चीज जो आप समझना चाहते हैं या कोई चीज ऐसी है जो छूट गई है सर ने बोला है और आप उसको नहीं समझ पाए हैं या उसमें और कुछ फर्दर डिस्कशन चाहते हैं ऐसा नहीं कि आप नहीं समझ पाए अगर आप में उसमें और कुछ फर्दर डिस्कशन चाहते हैं तो यू कैन प्लीज कैरी ऑन मैम मैम अभी तो नहीं है लेकिन हम लोग कल जो है डिस्कस कर सकते हैं कुछ क्वेश्चंस अगर हमारे मन में आते हैं तो हम कल से बिल्कुल डिस्कस करेंगे ओके okay. अच्छा जी अच्छा और एक बहुत अच्छा सेशन था हाँ सर ने जो आपको वीडियो दिखाया है महिला कम्युनिटी के बारे में और जितना उन्होंने डॉक्यूमेंटेशन दिखाया है ये आपकी रिसर्च और ये डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सर का अपना शूट किया हुआ है तो ये आप समझिए कि हम लोग अभी तक क्या कर रहे थे कि हमने गौरव किया था पर्टिकुलर साइट से या पर्टिकुलर म्यूजियम से और वो हम आपको दिखा रहे थे अब आपके सामने एक व्यक्ति है जिसने खुद ये डॉक्यूमेंटेशन क्रिएट किए हैं डॉक्यूमेंट्री मूवीज क्रिएट की है और उसने कैसे ये फील्ड वर्क किए हैं कैसे उसने ये डॉक्यूमेंटेशन किया नाउ यू हैव चांस टू गेट to penetrate into this knowledge right that now yes ma'am yes. to mujhe lagta hai ki aap logo ne ise bahut acche se enjoy kiya hoga yes ma'am yes ma'am absolutely bahut acha session tha ab bas thoda sa ye ek jo hai ki hindi pura nahi tha to usko main chahti hu ki aap overlook kare aur agar koi issue hai ki language ki wajah se kuch nahi samajh mein aaya hai to aap use further discuss kar sakte hain no doubt प्रिपरेटरी वर्क फॉर गोइंग बिफोर फील्ड वर्क एंड वॉट इज दिपरेटरी वर्क फॉर डॉक्यूमेंटेशन तो ये सारी चीजें हमें वही बता सकता है किताबों में पढ़ करके स्लाइड्स बना करके लेक्चर्स देना और बातें लेकिन जब हम ग्राउंड पर जाकर काम करते हैं अगर आपको मौका मिले आप इस तरह का वर्कशॉप अटेंड कर पाए और आप वहां जाकर काम करें तब आपको पता लगेगा कि लैंग्वेज बैरियर नहीं है मैं हिंदी फोर ऑफ द लैंग्वेजेस में से कोई नहीं आती है तब भी सारे लोग मुझे बहुत अच्छे से एक्सेप्ट करते हैं तो लैंग्वेज बैरियर नहीं है आप जा करके सीखे और सर uh, आप कुछ कह रहे हैं प्लीज कंटिन्यू एक्चुअली आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू अबाउट रिसर्च डिजाइन एक्चुअली इफ यू आर हैविंग ए प्रॉपर प्लानिंग ऑफ logarithmic or algorithmic arrangement ji yeah. then your research becomes very easy yeah. and always there will be destructions yeah. always there will be destructions and you should not forget to concentrate on one particular line of thinking from beginning to end with one small example i wanted to do this see logarithms in the computer era you understand you can write the things in different ways uh, i will give you one small uh, work for your brain just try to answer me you have to tell this particular event how to do it in three steps hmm. first one is i will give you one horse and you have to keep this horse inside a fridge refrigerator 
so tell me this particular activity in three steps see i am giving you a small example how your mind is going to be diverted so can anybody try three steps fridge is given horse is given you are asked to keep this horse inside the fridge okay the size is enough the horse can be placed inside the fridge now can you try in three steps anybody what what would be the first step open, open the fridge first next to place the horse Very good. inside step and close it second three steps then then third one third one say so first step is correct the open the door second, uh, second one is place the horse inside then close the door okay very fine see your research also should be like this see whatever you would like to tell so there should be a correct opening there will be perfect placement of data in all particular positions and then it should be closed properly inference should be drawn properly now i think you can expand these things now i'll give you an elephant instead of horse okay now so you try to expand this process now tell me this in four steps can you explain what four algorithmic steps to be followed to keep elephant in a fridge four steps can you tell me please anyone try aapko ek elephant diya gaya hai ek fridge diya gaya hai aur aap you can have the same door. steps Hmm. Next, prepare the horse into the size, and next, place it into the fridge and close the door. Yes. <laughs> Very good. Very good. So now, I will call it as step one. What is step one? What Open is step the one? Door. Open the door. Okay. Step two. Prepare the horse size as it has to be fitted in the. fridge okay. okay then third one next place it neatly in the cabin whichever cabin you want and yes. fourth one we have to close the door okay see diversion is here already you got diverted i told the horse for the previous episode and this time i told not the horse elephant i told about elephant but your mind is already fixed to the horse and you wanted to shape the horse according to the required measurement okay one deviation your research also will be like this when you go to the field you will have something because you read so many things previous data available in the written form reference works already you did and that is fixed in your mind you will forget it exactly what you wanted to pick up point 1 so instead of elephant you are using the word horse averted okay there is another diversion i told you to tell it in four steps actually you have to do it in four steps only you have to take some pre conditions what is the size of the elephant what is the size of the horse almost equal okay and only one item can be placed inside so now if you want to tell in, in four steps then open the door first one step one step two is keep the elephant inside that you want to write but there will be objection because already horse is there so step two is remove the horse from the fridge then you keep the elephant step three then close the door step four so see what is preoccupied in your mind you have to make it very clear first remove it feed it in a proper way try to observe the things carefully so what i would like to tell you is research is one activity which is already known to you but you wanted to search something more in it already limitations you know about the community the belief system you know because you also belong to 
any such community then ritual practices are most common in our nation therefore we feel that we know and we are having that feeling every time we know we know we know we know, we know. and we want to search something out of it therefore we should identify what we are not knowing and what is your understanding what is the understanding of the particular active bearer of that particular tradition that is also very important so observation is important participatory observation is more important than this so then only when you participate you will move along with the emotions when you are moving along with the emotions then there will be more understanding of this particular culture so they are actually identify the people who can give you the information see informant doesn't mean who shows the route you go straight take right walk 3 kilometers if somebody gives such information he may be a person who gives information about the route route map but he is not the informant informant means he is actually who is having some particular depth knowledge about that particular culture that belief system or if you are working on some particular type of painting how that natural natural color is being prepared for example my student lakshmi narayana went to one particular siddhi tribe which is an african tribe is living in uh, karnataka forests there actually he went because he came to understand that these people are preparing the colors with the help of some leaves and roots and uh, uh, some parts of plants and he wanted to know how to prepare these items do you think they are going to explain everything no because they are having the belief system that everything should not be explained to the other people if they explain the color will be colored immediately some such belief system will be there because every community wants to safeguard its knowledge system so all such things you have to understand you have to go with the people then only you can do better field work if you are able to do such field work then only you can produce a better thesis see uh, what is art or sculpture actually in a stone the best definition is removing the extra oh. see in a stone if it is rectangular in shape if you go on removing pieces 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 then th three dimensional ganapati may be appearing in that particular rock if you, you keep all extra it becomes only a rock so like that within the community so many things are there or within the art form so many informations are there so try to identify what is the important item within it that becomes your research i think if any other question is there i will try to answer hello 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 sir i am here everyone is here yeah yes yes so if can we point off for the day yes sir okay sir thank you sir thank you thank you thank sir. you thank tomorrow night. at 5:30 yes sir we are excited for tomorrow it's okay sir okay thank you sir thank you, sir. Thank you so much sir tomorrow i am going to give you detailed information about a data analysis so when okay, data sir. is in front of us how we are going to find the different meanings out of it that particular part i so thank you thank you all thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir you accepted the invitation aur mujhe lagta hai ki hum bachcho ke sath sath mujhe bhi bahut zyada acha laga hai aur i too have enjoyed being with you after a too long time okay even if it is virtual we have conversation a good conversation yeah So let's end the meeting for today, and we will continue the session tomorrow at five thirty, as the has told us. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so, ma'am. Taking notes, and tomorrow we can discuss.
any of the thing that you want to learn more or if you have if you have any doubt or if you have to go for further discussion or anything okay yes ma'am so okay. thank you namaste thank you, namaste yes, sir. namaste ma'am say namaste to sir also yes sir namaste sir ಸಂಕ್ಯೂಂ <laughs> ಓಕೆ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ಬಾಯ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಅಫಿಷಿಯಲ್ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಓಕೆ ಫೈ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು